Hey friends, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel, Putting Up With The Pom Poms. I am Shantae. And in this tutorial, I'm showing y'all guys yet another double puff hairstyle. So yeah, I know by when I did the first hairstyle, I told y'all I look like a little kid. I look juvenile, but they have grown on me and I am obsessed. I'm obsessed, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this quick hairstyle and I'm gonna show y'all how I achieve this look. All right, babe, you know the drill. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. We would love to have you into all of my returning subscribers. Hey, mama. Hey, bestie. Hey, friend. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. All right, so, you know, I've been styling my hair pretty much all week with these uh, double puff styles. So, my hair's already split down the middle. You already have the ponytails. So we're just, you know, finding new ways to style them. So, I decided to add these uh, two little twigs in the front. I don't know what else to call them, but two little twigs. So, so I'm just setting that aside. I added some water to re-moisturize my hair with and um, I already had plenty of gel in there so I only really touched up my edges and I didn't add any other products because I didn't want to have a whole bunch of product buildup. I definitely struggle with product buildup so when it comes to restyling my hair through the week I try to keep it minimum maybe add a light oil here or there and that's just if my hair or my scalp looks dry. So I'm pinning that down into this nice neat bun and then we're going to add our afro puffs that we created in the first video. If you need more details on that just click that link for me right up here above in the description or below in our description box. So to create my little twigs, I'm just pretty much just twirling them using a little bit of gel and water to kind of help my hair kind of revert back to its curly state. And I'm just twirling those around my finger and that's pretty much it. I didn't do nothing special. I didn't add any extra product because gel is already built up on my the shaft of my hair anyway. So I'm just kind of just making these cute little, you know, twirly twirls and I'm gonna let them be. I absolutely loved working with this Marley hair. It was so easy to style, manipulate, play with, get it to work with my texture. The hair was super soft and it wasn't smelly. Y'all know I do not like smelly hair. And I have received some smelly hair off of Amazon. I will say that, but this hair, it was perfect. So it's 18 inches long and I took two bundles to make each of my puffs. And for each day, I just kind of played with them. If a piece was too long, it was easy for me to kind of clip it fluff it out play with it all that good stuff i didn't add any products or anything it literally was like a shake and go process i also want to add that because i've been wearing these puffs throughout the week it felt like the older they got the more realistic they started looking because they started getting this frizz about them that most natural hair does and it just looked unkept but cute and then i'm playing around here because i was kind of like debating wanting to put it in a bun and i was like nah 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 i'm gonna I'm let it be yeah. All right, y'all, so this is the final part for our three-part series of this double Afro Puffs using a Marley hair. This is the third style. And um, yeah, I think by day two, I was really feeling myself with these puffs, okay? Like, I was really like, dang, these are actually kinda cute. The first day, I was really skeptical. I was just like, oh my gosh, these look kitty as hell. <laughs> but they started to grow on me. And then I'm glad that I got kinda, you know, I'm trying to come up with more styles to do with my Marley hair, especially with my hair being TWA. And I love seeing all these great Afro puff styles on everybody else that I really wanted to try it on myself, but my hair hasn't reached that length yet. But that's okay, cause we are on the journey to get there, okay? And we will eventually be at that length. <laughs> I did these cute little butterfly clips. Um, I don't know why. I see them all the time on TikTok and on Pinterest where people are like, butterfly clips have been making their way back. Well, I think like the Y2K era is just making its way back into being a trendy hairstyles as far as clothes and all that good stuff. So 
I don't know if I want to totally go back to Y2K era because those were some traumatizing times for myself. Y2K, I was in middle school, okay? Awkward, puberty, all that good stuff. I guess this gives me the chance to like revisit Y2K era with, you know, the aesthetic of being a grown ass woman. So I guess that kind of helps where it's not completely awkward and just embarrassing. <laughs> so I added those in um, and they're cute. They're cute. I can get with it, you know? I feel like my, my oldest daughter, like I have a 10 year old who would wear this kind of style and like love it, okay? So seeing it on myself, I guess that's what debates, where I debate with myself, you know, cause I'm just like, I'm a mom. Like my daughter wears this hair style. <laughs> and she would, like she would, oh mommy, we could totally match. You should totally do my hair like that. But uh, let me know what y'all think about the three part series or about this hairstyle in general. Is this something you could see yourself trying as well? Let me know in the comments. And also drop me some ideas, you know? I kind of like this three part series where we're doing different hairstyles in different ways. Um, I kind of want to see what else y'all are looking to see on my channel as well. Because sometimes I just be like hitting a brick wall. Like what should I do next? So uh, thank you guys for joining us on a, another tutorial. Do not forget to hit that like button and share this video to all of your social media platforms. We are on the way to 10,000 subscribers. And that could greatly help us reach our goal this year for 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We will see y'all on a, another one. Be blessed and be safe.